task 2.9 is to add a new special account deposit. So, to add a new special account, you have to go to GL and then you need to go to the account maintenance. Okay, so here you need to add the following special account of bank cash deposit. So, you go to your left side and you find bank cash deposit here and you click. Okay, here you need to click the deposit. So, you click on the deposit button here and automatically the parent account will change to current liabilities. So after you click deposit, you need to key in the account number. So the account number for this deposit is 450000 and the description will be customer's deposit. So you key in customer's deposit. Okay and then there's no second description. The payment method is customer's deposit as well and the journal type is bank. After you have created this deposit account, you can just click on the save button to save your new deposit account. So if you go through the current liabilities, if I scroll down, you can see under current liabilities, there is a one customer deposit special account. Okay, so now we have done. 2.9 we close the next task will be task 2.10 which is transaction that related to AR deposit so we go to the AR deposit here so to create a new AR deposit you have to click on the left click okay and then to record the receiving of deposit you need to Choose the deposit account here, which is customer deposit, and you need to choose the customer. So, the first deposit is from customer one, okay, and then you need to put the date to 25th of January. And after that, you need to key in the description, okay, the debtor name will be automatically detected. You need to key in the description, such as deposit receive okay so after you key in the description click plus sign to insert the column so the payment method that the deposit receive is cmbkl so the amount is 300 okay and after that we have the second deposit to key in so what you need to do is to tick the proceed new ar deposit and after that, only we click on the save button. Do you want to enter check number? No. Okay, so the second deposit is customer deposit as well. The debtor is customer 3. Okay, and then you click plus sign to insert column. The payment method will be CMBKL. Payment amount is 300 as well. Okay, so date you don't forget to change to 25th of January okay so now we only this is the last deposit that we receive from the customer so we untick proceed new AR deposit and we click on the save button do you want to enter check number no so under task 2.10 the first instruction is to key in the deposit AR deposit. So after we have key in, the second instruction says that we need to use the deposit amount of customer one to not off invoice number one. In bracket, treat as payment receipt. So whenever we need to treat as payment receipt, we need to record under payment, AR payment. So click on the left side and this time you choose the debtor. So the second instruction, the debtor is customer one. Okay, the description here you need to change to transferred from deposit. Why the description is different? Because we are going to use we are going to treat the customer deposit just now as a payment to their invoice. 
So when we treat as that, the discretion we must need to put transfer from deposit and the date we need to change to 27 of January. Okay, and then the payment method is by customer deposit because we, are, we want to use the deposit that we receive from customer. So under customer 1, there is 1 OR005 which is 300. So we are going to use this and we just click OK. Okay, and then automatically the amount will be detected. So from this customer deposit, we need to know off to certain invoice. So for this second instruction, we need to know off invoice number 1. So we tick at the invoice number 1 at the end of the box here. And after that, we can just click on the save button as usual to save your payment okay, from the customer deposit. Okay, the last one for the task 2.10 is for deposit amount of customer 3, forfeit half and refund the other half. Okay, if you go to the AR deposit listing, so I right click here, I can see I have two deposit. One already transferred as a payment, which is no more outstanding. I left with another one, which is still outstanding, this customer deposit. Okay, so to clear off this customer deposit from my AR deposit, we need to forfeit half and refund the other half. So how are we going to do forfeit half and refund another half? First of all, you need to highlight the transaction, okay, which is this one. After that, you need to click on the view button here. Okay. After you click on the view button here, you can see there's a forfeit and refund here. So the first one is to forfeit. So you have to click on forfeit here and click plus sign to insert the column. So the forfeited date, you have to choose 30th January 2020. Forfeited account number, you have to choose 500,000 sales the description is okay for fee okay and then the forfeit amount is 150 okay after you have done this one you can just click on save and yes you have still another outstanding of 150. So this 150 is where you need to refund to the customer back. So to refund to the customer, we click on the refund here and click add to insert the uh, column for the payment method. So refund document number, yes, we use the existing one. All the same, it's only we need to change the date to the 30th of January and the payment method is by cash and the amount is another 150 so when you save alright you can see the outstanding amount here has become zero so when I close back the transaction you can see there is no more outstanding so that's how you do the forfeit and refund for task 2.10.